grandson the right thought. It's early, y'all. The sun ain't even up yet. <laughs> it's going to be a short message. Straight to the point. So the other day, sister said to me, I understand your, your message, brother. I understand your message, but why are you screaming? Right? She said, why are you screaming? I understand the message, but why are you screaming? Then this isn't the first time that I've been asked this. There's been several times that I've been asked the same question. Why are you screaming? Why are you talking so loud when you're, <laughs> when you're giving your messages, right? And it's the simple answer to this question. Now, like I always say, you guys say you, you can read the Bible, believe it, <laughs> accept it, accept the truth that's in there. Okay, well, the question is, have you really read it? And do you really accept the truth that's in it? Because if you did, you'd already know why my voice was raised up when I'm giving these messages. You would already know why I'm raising my voice. Isaiah chapter 58, verse 1. What does it say? Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. He says, cry aloud, spare not. So cry aloud. Does that mean talk quietly or does it mean to speak loudly? And cry aloud. So does it mean that you just talk loudly or does it mean you cry aloud? Exalt your voice with passion and feeling. Cry out to the Lord means to cry out with passion and feeling. See? So to cry aloud, spare not. That means don't spare anybody's feelings. When they say, hey man, why are you talking so loud? You don't care. You keep on going. <laughs> okay? Spare not. Don't spare them. If they say, hey man, quiet down, man. You're talking too loud, man. Why are you yelling at us? Why do you seem to be so angry? You spare them not. You don't care, in other words. So cry aloud, spare not. See? Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. So he says to cry aloud and to lift your voice up like a trumpet. Now, anybody that's listening to this message, what does a trumpet sound like? <laughs> Have y'all heard a trumpet? Okay, well then if you have, then you know what it sounds like. So he tells you to cry aloud and to lift up your voice like a trumpet. Why? So that you can show my people their transgression. So cry aloud with your voice, don't spare their feelings, and lift up your voice like a trumpet so you can show them their sin, their transgression, and the children of Jacob their sin. That's what it says, right? So now, is the, are you crying aloud to everybody? <laughs> no. You're crying aloud to God's people. He said, tell my people their transgression. Tell them what they're doing that's wrong. So lift up your voice. Don't care if they tell you not to. Don't care if they tell you to be quiet. Don't care if they tell you, shh, hey, man, come on, man. Don't care when they say that. Show them their sins and show the children of Jacob their sins so that they know what they're doing wrong. Now, the sister and everybody else who asks me why I speak the way that I speak or why I talk so loud. How else did you show the children of Jacob their sins other than crying aloud and sparing, not lifting up your voice like a trumpet? How else do you do it? Because that's how Abiyah Yah says that it should be done. Or else we wouldn't do it. <laughs> because we do what Abiyah Yah says to do. So now, I've scripturally answered the question as to why yell, since I was asked, why are you screaming? Because Abba Yah says to lift up your voice like a trumpet, and cry aloud and spare not. Ain't it so simple, sister? And everybody else that's listening, it ain't even hard, is it? Just do what Abba Yah say to do. So our, the children of Israel are in error in their thinking and in their feeling. Now the scripture says, as a man thinketh, so is he. So now, sister and everybody else who's listening, <laughs> do the children of Israel, do they have problems thinking right and feeling right? Or are they walking around saying the right words, thinking the right things, and feeling the right things? The so-called Negroes on the earth, are they thinking right and feeling right? Or are they thinking wrong and feeling wrong as a people? They don't know who they are. They don't know who their God is. They don't know their homeland. 
They don't know their own name, but they're thinking right and feeling right? Nope, that's called transgression. That's called sin. That's called missing the mark of who you are. So since Israel don't know, I have to lift up my voice like a trumpet and tell them what they're doing. See how that works? So it'll get your attention. It'll make you not like it. It'll make you not like what you're hearing. Just like when a father riles up inside the house and gets upset. Do the children like it? No. Do the wife like it? No. All the inhabitants of the house are upset or afraid when the father gets upset. When he raises his voice and exalts his voice of authority. The family may not like that, but is it for their best interest? Yes. Is he loving his family when he does that? Yes. See? He's showing them their sins and transgressions. See how that works? So that's why I do it. Now, I got a question for all of you in the world. When is the last time y'all saw a preacher or a pastor of the word that never yelled when he was given a message? You see this shit? You see? What pastor y'all ever heard did not exalt his voice when he was giving some message at some point? He doesn't yell all the time, just like I don't yell all the time. Sometimes he cracks jokes, just like sometimes I crack jokes. But when it comes to telling you your sin, I gotta lift up my voice. Now you mean to tell me the pastor in the church never lifted up his voice? <laughs> he, he can hoop and holler and scream all day and be wrong half the time. Ain't giving you no scriptures. But he can hoop and holler and scream and play an organ all in the background all loud. You don't hear me playing no organs. You don't hear me playing no damn guitars or none of that shit. I'm simply lifting up my voice like a trumpet the way he told me to do. But these niggas can hoop and holler, dance, shuck and jive, shake eyes, roll all up in their head, talking about they got the Holy Ghost, lay hands on people and don't nothing happen, no healing takes place. They can do all that and it's fine. They can lift up their voice like a trumpet when they're talking about what they're talking about. But it's strange when I'm doing it. it. I make it hard for you to listen to. No, I just make it hard for you to listen to publicly or around other people. That's all it is. When I'm speaking and you are in this truth, then you can understand why I'm saying what I'm saying. And it ain't gonna affect you negatively. It ain't gonna make you feel embarrassed. It ain't gonna make you feel ashamed. See, because we are not ashamed of Christ. We are not ashamed of the truth, in other words. We speak it boldly. See? So, the people in the, this world, they're not going to like that. They hate the truth. You see? And a lot of the children of Jacob that are in their sins, they don't understand it. They don't know the truth. So when they see it, they reject it. Does it not say in the scriptures, he came into his own and his own knew him not? That means they didn't recognize him for who he truly was to them. The truth, Yahusha, Christ. He came into his own people and his own people didn't recognize him. They didn't know it was him. Now, when you read the scriptures, are there exclamation points when Yahusha is speaking? A lot of times, yes, there are. Woe unto you hypocrites! Exclamation points there. If you don't believe me, just read it and see. See if, he's, see if he's raising his voice, exalting his voice with exclamation points. <laughs> you see? So this is something that we as the elect understand. So when it happens, we're not thinking it's strange. We don't reject it because we expect it. <laughs> see, we don't reject it because we expect it. That's simple. So we receive it. Because we're looking for it. The sheep know the shepherd's voice. And when they hear his voice, they come and follow after him. They're not going to follow an a, a imitator. You know? The sheep are not going to follow a, copy, a copycat. They know the shepherd's voice. And the scripture says that it's speaking with an uplifted voice. You see? Not sparing. Now, I'm going to ask a question. When Christ was talking to the Jews and he said, you generation of vipers with an exclamation point, and he yelled at them. Was there a time when his disciples came and said, did you not know that the Jews were offended at you because of what you said to them? And what did Christ say? In other words, I don't care. So he's crying aloud 
telling them their sin, and he's sparing them not. See how easy that is? And they didn't like it. It made them uncomfortable. Why? Because they told him the truth. See? And if you're listening to it and it's loud to you, just turn the volume down a little bit. <laughs> just turn the volume down a little bit. But like I say, man, it's hard to listen to my messages in public where there are tears around. Because they're going to hear that shit and they're going to look at you as to why you're listening to that shit. Who is that nigga you listening to on YouTube? Why he hollering like that? Why he talking so loud? Oh my God, what a weirdo. See, they want smooth things. Prophesy to us smooth things, things that are easy to receive. You see? Things that are smooth and easy to receive. That's what the world like. So if you are not of this world, then you need to expect what the scripture says. And it says, cry aloud, spare not, lift up your voice like a trumpet and show the children of Israel their sin. That's what it say. So I'm not going to go off tangent. I'm not going to go off topic. I'm going to stay on topic today. And that's all that, that we're going to talk about is why I raise my voice in my videos. Why you see it happening. Oh, and by the way, when you hear me speaking, you don't hear me speaking to you. It's the utterance of the spirit through me. I, it's not my will here. It's Abba Yah's will be done. Who made man's voice? Who made my voice? Okay, then. <laughs> so, that's all, y'all. Just understand the truth, and then when it happens, you can recognize it. You can say, oh, he lifted up his voice because he's doing exactly what the scripture says to do. Children of Israel won't know their sins unless they be told it. And this is how Abba Yah said to tell them. See? See? It's love, but it's hard to understand when you when you haven't received love in this world, which which we haven't. See, he says it don't come with outward observation; it comes within. Love does, because God is love, and we're all searching after God, the Most High. See, <laughs> but we speak as the Spirit gives us utterance, not by our own power and our own might, but it is the Spirit in us that do the work, that do these works, and that speak these words. So y'all be blessed today. I'll watch the sun come up. Silo <laughs> Amisraelah.